Hello, Walton High School. It's Mr. Flood. Um, what, none of you remember me? I was there like three weeks ago. Four, actually. April 9th. No, just about three weeks ago. I don't know when you're watching this. Hopefully you're watching it with, within the time period of three weeks when I was there. I give an assembly. Coming back to you now? It's okay. I'm not... I am not bothered in the least if you don't remember me. I am bothered uh, if you don't remember anything I said. So I hope you remember one or two, I don't know, maybe three things that I told you that day uh, or any of the challenges that I gave you when I was there that day. But I wanted to come back, guys and girls, with this video and just say, you know, a quick thank you for the way that you treated me there. You know, I love speaking in upstate New York. Um, I love speaking anywhere in New York, but especially upstate New York because this is home for me. Um, so I'm, you know, I, I enjoy meeting kids from all over the country, but there's something about upstate New York for me. And I heard that, uh, I heard that, th that New York is the only state where they say upstate, like in, like when you're in, in Los Angeles, they don't say upstate in San Francisco and California. Like if you're in Southern or you're in Southern Texas, like you're down in Houston, you don't say we're going upstate. They say, I guess we're going to Dallas. So anyway, but I love being in upstate New York and I love that we call it upstate New York. So thank you for welcoming me. Uh, when I was there for the short time I was there. And the second reason for this video, guys and girls, is to remind you of the challenges I gave you when I was there, you know, because there are just three, these three simple things that I know have affected my life tremendously, and I know that they will help you in your future. And, and the first challenge was to look on the inside of people, always give people the benefit of the doubt, because that's what you'd want them to do for you. You know, don't judge people by the outside. Look on the inside and start with where you're alike. Can you celebrate your differences? And is everybody unique? Absolutely. But you have to start with where you're alike. Second challenge I gave you was to thank and show respect for two adults in the building in your middle school career, in your high school career, in your college career, in your career career, in your life career. You're going to need people to go to, trusted people to go to, uh, that you can bounce things off of when you're struggling, who can give you some perspective on things. And certainly when you're a kid, the people to do that with are adults. Can you talk to your friends? Absolutely. Are they going to listen? Definitely. But how much life experience can they give you and feedback and, and um, direction can they give you? Uh, you can get much more from an adult. So make sure you're showing respect and, and thanking adults on a daily basis to connect with and bond with them. And the third challenge I gave you, the one that was most important to me, was to n not let anyone eat alone. Really, the challenges include the unincluded. Uh, you know, in a conversation, in the classroom, on the bus, especially in the cafeteria, there's just something you'd want someone to do that for you. Just like looking on the inside, you'd want someone to reach out to you because we've all felt that no matter how popular you are, or who you are, or what you do or whatever, you know, we've all felt that that little pang of loneliness, that 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 feeling, um, that angst. Um, I still get it. You know, when I walk into a place where I don't know anyone. And as soon as someone welcomes me, you know, I just let about a big sigh. You know, someone cracked a joke or made me feel comfortable. So look for opportunities to do that with others. I had an awesome time there. I really hope I get a chance to run into some of you guys someday in a Panera or, I don't know, Dunkin' Donuts or somewhere on a farm up in, well, I don't spend a lot of time on farms in upstate New York, but who knows? Um, my car smelled like a farm when I got home. I remember that. Anyway, uh... I had a great time there at Walton. I hope you're all well. Have a great end to the year. Seniors especially, be safe at this time of year. You know, prom, graduation, it's a crazy time. Parties, a lot going on. Hectic, busy here, there. You know, so take it easy this time of year um, and and just enjoy it. Uh, but be safe and, and have a safe summer too, of course. Hope you're all very well. Have a great end to the year, guys and girls. I had a great time at Walton.